Bye, fancy bags. I hope you enjoyed that shake up, wake up. Right, it's time for art. And you know, art is one of my favorite things to do. And I thought, since we've been sitting at home so, um, so much during the last couple of weeks, why don't we do some art about our houses? Now, what is a house or a home? Yes, it's a place that gives you shelter and protection. Do you know, hundreds of years ago, there were people called cavemen. Let me show you a picture of the cavemen. Here we go. Can you see that picture of the cavemen? There were people called cavemen. And can you see? All right. And they didn't have houses like we do. They lived in caves. But now, would you like to live in a cave? It might sound fun if you have it for a night or two, but not every night. These cavemen didn't have shops to go to to buy their food. They'd have to hunt for their food and grow their own fruit and vegetables to eat. And at night, when it got very cold, they would find a cave. And if you can see the cave here, and they would go inside the cave with their families and make a fire, and that's where they'd sleep. But it didn't give them much protection. Maybe a little bit of shelter from the rain and the cold. But let me see you, show you what dangers there were. Big grizzly bear. They're the people in their cave, they're the cavemen, and they're fighting off the big grizzly bears because there was no door or windows to protect them against all the wild animals. So the cavemen at night would have to sit in with their spears and their knives to make sure that no danger came to their families. So that's how people used to live. Do we live like that today? No. We've got houses that are built out of bricks, out of wood. Out of logs, some houses are big, some houses are small, and some houses are very, very small, and they are built one on top of each other, and those are called flats or apartments. I don't know if you can see, but I'll just show you a few pictures of some a little stick house. Here we go, that's where some rural people live, and you see there's the mud around there with the sticks on the roof. Okay, there's some bricks the house is made out of. Can you see that's very different from the cavemen? Look, they've got a door and they've got some windows. There's a little, this house is called a bungalow. Look at that beautiful house, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. So much different from the cavemen's house. This is an apartment, one house on top of the other. Yo, look at that. Look how many houses are one on top of each other there. That's called a flat. Some people live at the bottom story and some people right at the top. They don't have gardens. There's a little log cabin. Their walls are made out of logs and they're cemented together. And there's a nice brick fireplace. Wow, look at that. Some people even live in a castle. So as you can see, we are very different from cavemen. Okay, so let's get onto our art. What I want you today to do today, let me just move this table. What I want you to do today is get a nice big piece of cardboard or paper, as big as you can get it, and then I want you to get a black cokey or a black crayon. And we are going to use the shapes square, rectangle, and triangle to draw our house. Okay, so let's begin. First, I need a ground for my house to be built on. Because remember, a house is built on a foundation. It doesn't fly up in the air, it's down on the ground. Okay, so I'm going to do my ground, just like the other day when we showed you the soil. All right, and you're gonna do the same thing just now. Okay, you're gonna do the ground. Okay, then you can decide how many rooms are going to be in your house. We're not doing the outside today, we're going to do the inside of the house okay so we're going to do the inside of the house today not the outside so you so i want you to think what rooms do you want in your house well i definitely want to have a kitchen so that i can cook in i definitely want to have a bathroom and imagine how dirty i'd be if i didn't have a bathroom a bedroom to sleep and definitely a lounge because mrs Dasta loves to watch tv relax with my feet up and watch a book so i'm oh, read a book so i'm going to have four rooms. Okay, you decide how many rooms you want in your house. On Thursday, we're going to cut some pictures out of magazines and we're going to stick the furniture into your house. 
So don't make your rooms teeny tiny. You want to make them nice and big so you can put lots of furniture in them. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my lounge at the bottom. I'm going to do um, with my kitchen and then I'm going to do my bedroom and my bathroom upstairs. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm first going to, can you see my, my page here? Yeah? Okay. I'm first going to do my, my lounge. Okay, so I'm going to use the rectangle shape. You can maybe get mommy to help here. I'm going to put a dot here and a dot here. Because remember, it's good to plan. Okay, and then my lounge will go about to here and then down to here. And then I can draw my lines. Oh, my board's moving. Okay, so there we go. I've got my lounge. And next to my lounge, I've got my kitchen. So I'm going to do another square over here for my kitchen. Now on top, I'm going to have a bedroom and I'm going to have a bathroom. So again, I'm going to have a bedroom. And a bathroom. So there are four rooms in my house. Now my house needs a roof. So I'm going to use a triangle shape for my roof. Okay, so I've got the bottom part of the triangle. I'm going to go a little bit out. Oh, this is just going to run out of cardboard. Here we go. And I'm going to give myself, let me just move that over here. And I'm going to do, give myself a nice flat roof. Do you see I've taken up my whole page. So I've got my lounge, my kitchen, my bedroom, and my bathroom. I'm not going to worry about doing trees and all of that now because um, I'm going to use the magazine pictures to do that. Okay, so that's all you have to do today. It's very, very simple. You're going to do your ground and you're going to draw your, um, your um, outline of your rooms. If you want to have two bedrooms and a kitchen and lounge, you decide depending on how big your paper is. Remember, we're going to be sticking furniture inside it, so make sure it's nice and big. If you've only got small pieces of paper, that's okay. You can use each piece of paper for a different room and then maybe stick them together and make a roof out of another piece of paper. If you've got time today, you can start to color in or paint your picture if you want to. Okay, so if you've got something else in the afternoon and, and, you, and you're feeling a little bit bored, then why don't you go get the shaving cream with your dye or your paint or your cookies or your crowns and you can start to color your house in because then we're going to fill the details in on Thursday. All right, boys, today is Monday, so what will it be tomorrow? Tuesday. Tomorrow, on Tuesday, I'm going to see you all on a Zoom meeting. So we're going to meet again on the computer. What I want you to have is some um, little round Play-Doh balls that you have rolled. And I want you to have 11. Can you count to 11? Let's count together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I want you to have 11 little Play-Doh balls and I want you to have 11 toothpicks. So that's what you need for our special Zoom class together. Boys, have a lovely Monday and I will see you tomorrow. Miss you lots.